In this video, we're going to look at the terrain material. By default, you have one applied already, and it will be uh, a good starting point to shade and texture your terrain. You can you can use it uh, as it as is, and we are going to see how how it, how it is made, or you can use your own material if you wish. There is, uh, you're completely free to to do anything you want. So if I switch to the material drawing mode in the viewport, you should see something like this. And by default, it's already pretty cool that we have our terrain texture. And it also works in rendered mode like this. Let me show the water back. Okay. So right now the shading is flat and boring because the surrounding world is is made of a plain color. That's the default world. Let's use a sky from Scene Skies. And this should give a more realistic um, lighting for our terrain. Okay, so by default you have this result. Let's see how you can customize it. I switch back to solid mode and move on to the material stuff here. If I select the terrain, I can see in the node editor the details of the material, the default material. We have two groups of nodes, cycles and blender internal. I'm not updating the blender internal part anymore. So I suggest you don't use blender, uh, the blender internal engine, rendering engine. I concentrate on the cycles render engine uh, now okay and if you are not used to nodes in blender this can look a bit intimidating at first but it's pretty easy to understand uh, once you know what everything is supposed supposed to do so what we are actually doing here is stacking uh, textures on top of each other okay uh, in the in the viewport here we can see we have several biomes or natural environments and each one is represented by a texture. You have the underwater texture, the beach texture, the flat ground texture and the mountains texture. All of them are applied on the same mesh using a single material and the way to do that is to stack them on top of each other using uh, mask textures. And this is done right here. So the first uh, two textures we combine together is using this mix node. So let's see what, what the output of this node uh, gives us. And it's that. Okay. So we are mixing together the flat area texture and the underwater texture. Okay, using a mask texture. So the mask texture is called ST Output Underwater Mask. ST stands for Scene Terrain. So let's see in the image viewer uh, what, what it is, Underwater Mask. Uh, so this is uh, the terrain scene from above. And you can see that the white part of the texture is where the underwater texture is applied on the terrain mesh and the black parts of this uh, mask texture is where we should apply this flat area texture. Okay, so white, white in the mask texture means apply this texture on the mesh and black parts of this mask texture mean apply 
this texture on the mesh. Okay. So before we move on to the next, uh, the 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 next textures, where does this mask come come from? It is automatically generated by scene terrain every time you generate a, a new terrain. And it's already saved in Blender's output directory. And the output directory is set here in the render settings. Okay. And the file is already saved in this folder, as we can see here. So there, there are already all the masks are saved every time you generate a terrain and they are they are PNG files. Uh, be careful because uh, if you want to keep them, to keep those files, uh, you should move them out of this folder. Mm, copy and paste them uh, outside of this folder because uh, they will be overwritten if you uh, generate a new terrain again. So if I click on generate terrain and the seed is different, these files will be different as well. So if you understand how these two textures are mixed together, the rest is pretty easy to understand because it's exactly the same thing. So if I uh, see what this uh, mix node gives us, this is adding the beach, the beach texture on top of the terrain using another mask, the beach mask, mm, this one, okay, and this mix node gives us the mountains using the mountain mask. All right, and the last one is for the urban ground, uh, but uh, we don't have a city yet. To change the textures applied on the terrain, you have to use the green nodes. And the green nodes are group nodes. Uh, select, for instance, the flat area texture group node and press tab. And now we can see we are inside the, this group node and we can see the nodes that, uh, that are forming this group. And it's also pretty easy to understand. The flat area texture is this one. Let me zoom in so we can better see what's going on. And we, we have two textures here. We have the broad, large, large scale texture. And on top of it, we have a detail texture that is repeated. Okay, and you can change both of them using these nodes. So this is the flat area texture and you can change it. Simply open a new image. By default, the, it's, it's in the, we are in the folder of, uh, in uh, Scene Terrain's library of textures, of ground textures, and you can use any one you wish. Let's say, I don't know, uh, let's say this one. Okay. And you can do the same for the, for the detail texture, which uh, I call overlay. You can change it here. And again, it's opened by default in the in Sinterrain's default folders. Right now there are only two detailed textures, but I will add more in uh, future versions. Right. So you can use <clears throat> any texture you want for your terrain this way. One other thing that is important is to control how often your textures are repeated on your terrain. And this is controlled with the mapping nodes. 
I suggest uh, switching to to the point uh, tab and control so you can control how often it is repeated with uh, the x and y values of the scale so 2 on x means repeat the texture on the x axis twice and we are doing the same in the y axis so now we can see that the texture is applied four times I mean one here one here one another one is applied here and the fourth here you can go as high as you like but it's a trade-off so what's what is it useful for so if you see your texture being blurry for instance if you set it to point 0.1 you should see that now we can see that the texture is blurry and it's it can be ugly in, if your render is very high in a very high resolution and you can see that uh, t the terrain is showing blurry pixels that means that either your your texture is too low resolution or you haven't repeated it enough on the terrain so come here and increase the value and the blurry the problem of a blurry texture will disappear but on the other hand the higher you go on the rip if you repeat it repeat the texture too much then you will have this kind of tiling effect which is not very pleasant to the eye and it's making obvious that we for to the viewer that your terrain is fake so that will the correct value here will depend on you the camera uh, where the camera is and the point of view of your render final render and you can do the same here for the overlay so you can modify the default material any way you like just like uh, any other blender material and if for any reason you would like to have the default material back the one you have when you uh, generate a new terrain then you can go into the scene terrain options panel go to the material tab and here you have uh, the option to reapply the default material on the terrain so if i click on it normally you should have the default material back a quick note on this option remember when we talked about the mountain uh, the mountain texture mask this one and uh, it's uh, it's displayed here this mask controls where the mountain mountain texture is applied on the terrain mesh uh, but there is a, an option here to control the minimum slope uh, from which above which the, the the terrain is considered to be a mountain. So by default, it's forty percent. Is forty percent slope above this value uh, will be shaded with the mountain texture. So if I set it to zero uh, or, or almost zero, that means the slightest slope will be considered, considered a mountain and to apply this this, uh, this setting you have to if you change it you have to regenerate the terrain make sure you have uh, the same seed so that the shape remains the same so as you noticed we now have, we now have uh, more the, ter the mountain is covering more ground and if I put it to some high value, let's say 80%, now we should have less mountains and more flat terrain. Only the uh, the most uh, the steepest slopes are are shaded with the terrain, the mountain texture. Sorry.